Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a combination of Misty Morning and Focus because you know, guys, I love that bergamot and the zing of the peppermint. So good. So good, guys. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea or maybe a cup of coffee. And as I always say, possibly something harder. It depends on what part of the planet you're on, right, guys? So today we're going to do a review, but kind of not. Yes, but no. And you'll see what I mean about that in just a second. So the theme here is going to be how to reduce under eye baggage on camera. How do you do it? And on set, if you guys know or don't know, I'm a DP, a director of photography. I do a lot of TV episodic stuff and movie shorts and advertising stuff and whatnot and getting things set up just right, a lot of you don't know what happens behind the scenes. But for example, if you're watching someone on TV and it's like a talking head, like what I'm doing right here, what you're not seeing is all the light that's actually underneath the talent and not just above as you're seeing right here and right now. As you can see here, I have some baggage going on. We're gonna to try to reduce it just a little bit on camera, just simply by using lighting. Now. The folks over at BenQ were nice enough to send me over a product. This is the product here. Let me see if I can take the glare off that. You see that? Can you see it? It is the Screen Bar Plus. Um, when I first saw this, I'm like, ah, is it something that I'll use or not use? Let me just review it, take a look at it, and see if it's something that I can maybe use for something else than what it is designed for. That's kind of what I'm all about. I am a non-linear thinker. I'm an inventor. I make my own products. I'm the inventor of the Focus Pyramid Autofocus Lens Calibration Tool, the PRT, which is a photo reference tool for getting color just right. I'm also the inventor of the ACC product, which is the Aurora Camera Care product. That's sensor cleaning as well as lens cleaning and a bunch of other stuff. I'm constantly thinking of new ways of, let's say, improving mouse traps or possibly making new mouse traps from scratch. And sometimes I just look at something and I just say, you know, there's just, there's another use to this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this. I'm gonna give you a quick spec rundown. It is super simple. They give you a manual that looks like this. And honestly, there is nothing to it, guys. There is absolutely nothing to it. So it's super simple. And I'm gonna show you how it works. Right now I have it on my desk. And I threw a camera up here, hopefully it's running, hopefully it's working. And as you can see, there is this little BenQ control dial knob looking thing here. And it is super, super easy to set up. You don't even need instructions. It does three things. Number one, it controls either working in automatic mode where it will figure stuff out based on the lighting. Number two, in manual mode, it allows you to control the intensity of the light and also the yellow or blue of the light, right? So very, very simple. It would be really cool to be able to control tint also. So you have yellow to cyan as well as magenta to green, but it doesn't give you all that functionality, but it still gives you that warming from blue to yellow. So you can kind of dial it in just a little bit, which is really nice, especially if you're going to be using this at night and you want to get rid of some of the blues in the monitor, you can tone the monitor back. And then also with this light, this reading light, let's say that's over the monitor, you can do the same thing. But anyways, before I get into it, I want to say that if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks as of yet, go check them out over at jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. I have a couple of books over there that are free. There's also one that is paid. That is the brand new book that I'd released about a week and a half ago, two weeks, how to create a digital Fort Knox, backing up your digital life. That's over there. You can buy this. You can also get the prologue to this for free, or you can get the full book, the ebook called 10 Tips at Making Tax Sharp Images. There's something there for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're a pro-am, if you're a professional, or just simply an amateur. So go download some books. Once again, they're free jchristina.com forward slash books. So this little bar, all right, as they call it, as Ben Q calls it, the screen bar plus sits on top of your monitor and then a USB-C cable plugs into it. 
The USB-C cable gives it power for the LED strip that's built inside, as well as giving you this little guy. This is what I was talking about, this controller that allows you to control what's going on with that light bar. Now, there's only a couple of buttons on here. Number one, you have the automatic button, which you can turn on and off, and then what it will do is it will use this sensor to figure out what the light needs to be. You can also shut that off, and now you could control it with this button over here. If you click the button, you'll see over on this right-hand side, there'll be like a little temperature, and you could control how blue or how yellow the temperature of the light is. Now, if you click it again, it'll come over to the brightness, and now you can control how bright this light is. Super simple, that's it. It doesn't do anything else, that is it. But it is really nice because I'm sure a lot of you are like me, you're working at night, you have like a light to the side or an overhead light and it's like shining into your screen and shining into your monitor and it gives you that awful like glare, all right? Well, with this device, it even though it's sitting an inch away from the monitor, the angle at which it's sitting hits straight down in front of you and you do not have any of that reflection on the actual screen itself. So I could be here, I can move my keyboard out of the way, I can grab one of my books, I could be signing my book, right, to send it out and I can see what's going on here. I can turn the brightness up, I can turn it down, I can make it more yellow, I can make it more blue, whatever works good for me. So it's really nice, it is really nice. It's one of those little things that you wouldn't think that you would like or use because it's very basic, there's not a lot to it. It's like, I just got this new tech device, it's super cool, it does that or whatever. It's super simple, but the thing is, it just works, right? And that's the way I am, like even with my products. I always want to try to make a product that literally an eight-year-old could pick up and figure out how to use it, all right? It's very important, in my personal opinion, to be able to get things broken down to low level, right? Where anyone could just pick it up and just use it, and that's it. And that's what this is all about. Now, currently I have it offset to the right, and the reason being is because I have my camera here, and it will literally be right in the way of it. So, having it to the right, this is not the way it normally should be set up. It should be set up dead center, so it hits everything in front of you. Now moving to the main topic here, how to remove under eye baggage on camera, on video, whatever it is. Talking head stuff is the main way that this will work. So if I take this unit off the top of the monitor, and you can see it, this is what it looks like, all right? Take it off the monitor. As you can see, there is some crazy bright LEDs in there. I'm gonna just put it just like that and I'll just, there we go. Turn it down, turn it bright. As you can tell, it gets super, super crazy bright, right? So instead of having it over the monitor like this, I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm gonna put it underneath the monitor instead. And what I'll do is I will position it so that it is basically just striking me in the face, all right? And I'll turn it all the way back down. Now. As you can tell, there's a little something different going on here. We're getting some of this under eye light coming in right here. Now, if I shut it off and I come in here, you can see, look at the size of this bag. I haven't slept very much and we're not gonna get into it. It's a crazy mess right now. But anyways, you see this under eye baggage right here? When we turn it on, it reduces it really a lot because we're getting light from underneath, okay? And we could control, once again, the intensity of that light just by dialing it up or dialing it down. Also, having the ability to change the color temperature is important. So if we move it to color temperature, I can turn it so we have blue light on me or I can go to like a yellow warming light. And it depends on what your scene looks like. So I'm gonna turn it to a little bit more neutral, something like this. And then I'll change it back over to brightness and we can go really bright like that or dial it all the way back or just give it a little bit of a hint of light. And this is what we see with almost all news programs. Anything, once again, that you see someone that is a talking head, there is a light that comes in underneath them. That light lights them from underneath, removing some of this under eye baggage, not all of it, but just a little bit that little bit of a kiss of light from underneath. You get some shadowing that's lost under the neck. 
There is just, it just looks more flattering. So in the sets that I create, a lot of times the desks have a clear window in them that you can't see. And that is where the light comes out. That is where it gets directed. And then what we will do is we will grid that light. So instead of it hitting down here, which is happening right now, we would actually only hit the face. And that is it, just this area. So you don't even really know that it's on. You turn it off and you can tell something has changed. You turn it on and you get that nice little bit of a kiss of light that's going on. So this is how we do it on set. And when I saw this, I'm like, this thing is pretty cool. This I can use very similar to how I set things up doing TV. So once again, it is a dual use for me. I always look at products and I say, you know, how do we change them up a little bit or how can we use them differently or how can we use them in a manner that they weren't originally intended? Once again, that nonlinear thinking. Um, I think it is important to look at things that way because many times we can actually get a greater use out of something than what was originally it was designed for, let's say. And that's what I'm seeing for this. Now, are you a content creator or are you not? Do you do videos like what I'm doing here? And if you do, something like this might be effective for you, all right? especially if you have a lot of under eye baggage or if you are not sleeping very well and you start looking a little bit older, as we all are these days, it feels. But anyways, so once again, this is the Screen Bar Plus by BenQ. For its actual use case, phenomenal, all right? Of course, people be like, oh, I could just use an LED strip and then, you know, a bicolor LED strip and all this stuff. Yes, you can and we do it on set all the time. But when you have something that is made with such quality like this and everything is pre-thought of, how it plugs in, the actual weight of the, let's say, connecting bar um, so that you can adjust the angle and all of this stuff, it's just simple, right? It's one of those things that you pay a little bit extra money for, but you're getting a lot of extra out. And using it with this, let's say, dual use case is what we're doing here, might be beneficial for you and you can use it for, once again, for something that goes over your monitor or something that goes under your monitor that's lighting you from underneath, however you wanna use it. So once again, I wanna thank the guys over there at BenQ for sending this over. They sent it over to me for free just to check out so I don't have to say it's good, bad, or indifferent. Once again, I use it for its classical use, its normal use case, it works out great. And I think this works out pretty good too. Uh, let's call it as a baggage remover. <laughs> so guys, if you enjoyed this even a little bit, all right, please throw the video a thumbs up. Also, I'm gonna put a link in the description below this video as well as in the first pinned comment, let's say, that link will be to this product. If you wanna go and check it out, you can go to the direct Amazon link that I'll provide. Also, I'll provide a link to my Amazon store. So you can go check it out over there also and some of the other products that I've been reviewing as of late. So if it's something that you wanna pick up, I would encourage you to pick it up through one of my links so that I can make 25 cents. <sighs> 18 cents, probably 18 cents. <laughs> Honestly, that's about what it is. But anyways, every little bit helps. And if you want to help the channel, all right, right down here, there's a join button, click that. You could become a member, give the channel a dollar, 99 cents, two bucks, five bucks a month, whatever. And I can give you perks for doing so. Also, a lot of you guys have asked me for a direct link, a PayPal account. I put together this PayPal account called JC Tip Jar. It's my tip jar, jctipjar at gmail.com. You can send a buck to buy me a cup of tea or whatever you wanna do. It's completely up to you. Also. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so. This is getting close to like 600 videos on here. There is a ton of evergreen content for you guys to go through. So subscribe and then click this little bell icon over there. So when I go live or when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. Also, when we're done talking down here in the comments, join us over at community.jchristina.com. Once again, community.jchristina.com. It is our creative Discord server where you'll find hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of photographers, videographers, tech heads hanging out and shooting it. 
all day. Really, really good people over there. So check that out. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That would be awesome. And just for getting to the end of this video, use promo code YT20 at checkout. Once again, YT20 at checkout, you'll get 20% off everything that's in your shopping cart. Not one thing, everything. And don't forget, check out the book. You can find it on Amazon if you want Kindle. If you want just the book itself or the PDF of this, or if you just want to get the free copy of the prologue, go to jchristina.com forward slash books. So guys, that is it. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe and stay healthy.